Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week we'll take a look at a database application by Devon Technologies called DevonThink Pro. Now we've taken an in-depth look at DevonThink Pro in the past, but with the launch of version 3 it has seen many significant changes, so we thought we would take another fresh look at the application. DevonThink Pro is a very powerful application. Not only does it store just about any file type you throw at it, it also includes a powerful artificial intelligence that makes searching for those files more powerful than using the Finder and Spotlight. In addition to search, DevonThink can analyze your documents and find connections between them that can make it easy to automatically file them or see all of your documents that carry a similar theme which can be great for research. DevonThink does all of this without locking you into the application. It also has some new features that were not available in previous versions, like automation and more flexible ways to view what you have in your database. In addition to all of these features, it is as easy to get things out of DevonThink Pro as it is to add them in the first place. Because of all of the features packed in DevonThink Pro, it will take more than one screencast to cover it all. This week we will start with how to install and set up DevonThink Pro, and the various ways to get your information into the databases, including best practices for how to set up and work with those databases. So let's get started by taking a look at the installation and setup of DevonThink Pro. So here we are on the Devon Technologies website, and if I just come over here to the applications and click into DevonThink, you can see that we have the option to take a look at various additions, to download, and to buy. If I just click into additions here, you can see all of the things that are included. So there's the standard version, which does have a number of things included that weren't there previously for the standard version, which is multiple databases, RSS reading, uh, support for different file formats. With Pro, you get all of these extra features here, and you can see that Server has the same number. And the only difference here is that Server has a web interface, which allows you to view your databases online over the internet. For our purposes, what we're going to do is use the Pro version. And if I just come back here, if you go into Buy, you can buy it or download it. Now, the great thing about downloading it is you do have a trial for 30 days or 150 hours, whichever runs out first. Now, I've already downloaded the application, so let me just go ahead and put this down. And let's go ahead and launch DevonThink Pro for the first time. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. <laughs> 